Okay, so I'm now going to walk you through the house. Here is the main door. This should give you a good flow, house flow. This is the foyer. So as I mentioned, it's a fairly large foyer when you walk in. The first thing on your left hand side is the um, room I told you about, the uh, office. So you get a wet bar here. House is not prepared for showing, but <laughs> there you go. Now we're back in the foyer. Again, there's the front door. I'm gonna try and give you the flow of the house, okay? So you have living dining here. Sorry, I keep saying living dining. Living room, family room. This is the wall I was suggesting. Didn't have to be there and you could have a great room instead, okay? So now I'm into the second room. Then you can turn left here and we are back in the foyer. Linda's hiding. This is the, the room you eat in, the dining room. And then down towards here, can see you are into the kitchen and the eat-in area. On this side, you have your laundry. And this has your heated floors that goes down to the mud room, which I showed you the entrance to from the garage. You also have a side door that goes out to the garden here. I'm turning you around. To go back through the laundry room right here, you have a beautiful powder room. Lovely fixtures done really nicely. Powder room. Still coming through the laundry area. You have a little pantry closet here for whatever you may need it for. And I think I mentioned the vac pan, which is right here, and it's attached, of course, to the central vac. And this is a yeah. intercom. intercom system. You can play music throughout the house. You can talk to anybody. And then you've got sliding drawers, and the kitchen's actually really nicely done. If you don't like the doors, you can get new doors. <laughs> Anyways, that's your kitchen. This is the solarium area kitchenette. I know I did the outside for you later, so I'm just gonna go straight down this hall, passing the dining room that we came in from the foyer, through to another, more of a solarium area, passing the living room slash family room, which you could knock the walls down and make one big giant room. Windows all the way down here. You've got three sets of sliding doors down from the kitchen all the way down through the solarium and into the pool area. Your fireplace is here. It's a two-sided fireplace. One side in the living room, one side here. You got a wet bar here. You've got this is like vacuum sealed, so you never smell any chlorine or anything anywhere. And then you have your giant sized pool for your swimming pleasure and exercise. And over here you have change room, family room, toilet, whatever you call that powder room. This would be the tiki hut of which we speak. This would be the sauna. And I know you saw a little hot tub there. And again, I showed you the whole outside before, so you can see that from here. Now we're going back into the main floor. And I am going to take you upstairs first. Many ways to get upstairs. You can go through this section of the hole, or the section over there, or the kitchen. We're going to go through the living room where I told you that this is the other side of the two sided fireplace. Back through the main foyer and up the beautiful stairs. Did I show you that chandelier? Spectacular. There are several skylights around here that offer huge beautiful lighting throughout the whole house. 
Top of the stairs. Immediate left. Full bathroom. And I don't know if I mentioned, they have a walk-in linen closet. So it holds like everything. It's lovely. I'm running out of breath. It's a big house. Bedroom number one. Okay. That is a good sized bedroom. Slowly backing out of the bedroom. Passing the main bathroom again. This is the master. Master bedroom. Good size. I believe you saw the veranda that you can watch the masters from when they come and play at the hunt club. Then we have his and hers closets. This is hers. At least I hope it's hers because he would look funny in some of these clothings. This is his, which any her could wear is too, but I think it's a his. Okay, now we go into the ensuite, which again has heated floors upstairs. Beautiful big window. And a lovely bathtub. Beautiful windows. The golfers can't see you, but you can see them. Stand up shower and your bathroom. All right, that is the main uh, master bedroom and bathroom. Uh, then we turn left out here and we have bedroom number three. This is a very cool bedroom, by the way. It has a little reading nook where you've got the skylight here, which offers even more lighting. This little reading nook and down a couple stairs here and you can see this whole swimming pool from upstairs. Ever cool, eh? All right. I'm backing up out of this bedroom, up the stairs, and out to bedroom number four. Here's bedroom number four. Beautiful, beautiful big bedroom. Lots of nice trees for privacy in the front, except in the winter when there's no leaves on them. And then I think I mentioned they had done the ease troughing. So you've got the stuff in the ease troughing, so you're... You don't get leaves everywhere. You don't have to pay you annually to have your ease troughs cleaned. All right, now I'm gonna take you to the basement, which is equally as large. Okay. Back down the hall. I hope this is giving you a good flow of the house. Back down the stairs, look at that. I love that. The other thing you should also be aware of is that this house is brick all the way around, the sides, the back, the front. No there is no maintenance and there is no stucco or siding, which adds also adds, you know, quite a bit extra value to the home, as I'm sure you know. Okay, downstairs. I'm going to start in the wine cellar, although I got to tell you, I don't know why they call it a wine cellar, because I just cannot find any wine in here. Yeah, at the bottom. Look, that's, that's wine. That's what they call a wine cellar, funny bunch. Anyway, nice cold room for lots of extra food and stuff there. That's right at the bottom of the stairs. Then you've got what you can have as a hobby room or a bedroom. It's an illegal bedroom because there is no windows, but it's a good sized room. Now I'm turning all the way around, passing the stairs where I came down, passing the wine cellar, and going into a office. All the cupboards down here are all cedar lined, so you have no uh, moths or moths eating any fabrics or any of your clothes or anything. So all the closets down here are cedar lined. I did mention that attention to detail was something that these guys looked after and did very well. You've got an under the stairs storage area they've made some good use of. Here, double doors into a kitchen. Here's a kitchen. As I mentioned, there are two fridges down here. I'm sure you don't want them both, but there's one fridge and then there's another fridge. And, uh, just a nice little setup here. 
room for a microwave. You may or may not want to add a stove. Again, that's up to you. There's a little built-in fridge here. There's a stove top. There's no oven. Right, stove top, no oven. And then you've got a little family room here, which is lovely. You've got wall-to-wall -wall storage closet space down here, which, you know, they've labeled and boxed everything that's in here and you can do the same or not. Here's the pool table. May or may, may not be up for grabs, you know, based on needs and requirements. There's a full bathroom down here. You know, a shower stall and there is a store, another storage room here. And there is another storage room over here. It's like the house that never ends, by the way. All your furnace and stuff. So, um, the furnace is, how old's the furnace? 15. 15 14. years, 14 years? Yeah. Shouldn't need replaced for a while. It's been very well maintained. It's not needing updated. Um, more storage down here. More storage, workbenchy type stuff. More storage over here. And this is the dehumidification system. dehumidification system. And the pumps and everything for the pool are all down here. Everything is kind of spick and span. Uh, kept in very, very good condition. Again, this is just, just, you know, down the back hole, more storage and stuff down here. And another view of the pump and stuff. Okay, now I'm going to take you back out. Past all the little storagey bits and pieces. Back out. And I'm back through the French doors here. And all the way up here and back to your foyer. So that's probably a bit of a long video, but I think it'll give you a few more, you know, a better idea of how the house layout works. Okay?